Let's talk about the broad AI race. Who do you think wins? We talked about Google. The Meta, leader, the default XA. leader has been Google because of their infrastructure advantage. Well, like in the news, OpenAI is the leader. Right? They're the leading in the They narrative. have the best model. They have the best model that people can use and they're And they have the most AI revenue. Yeah. OpenAI is winning. Is, right so now. who's making money on AI right now? Is anyone making money? So accounting profit wise, Microsoft is making money, but they're spending a lot of capex, right? You know, and that gets depreciated over years. Uh, Meta is making tons of money, but with <laughs> recommendation systems, which is AI, but not with right, Llama, right? right. Llama is losing money for sure, right? Um, I think Anthropic and OpenAI are obviously not making money because otherwise they wouldn't be raising money, right? Mm -hmm. They have to raise money to build more, right? Um, although theoretically they are making money, right? Like, you know, you spent a few hundred million dollars on GPT-4 and it's doing billions in revenue. So like, obviously it's like making money. Although they had to continue to research to get the compute efficiency wins, right? And mm -hmm. and move down the curve uh, to like, you know, that 12, get that 1200X that has been achieved for GPT-3. You know, maybe we're only at like a, uh, you know, a couple hundred X now, but you mm -hmm. know, with GPT-4 Turbo and 4.0, and there'll be another one probably cheaper than GPT-4.0 even that comes out at some point. Uh, and that research costs a lot, a lot of money. Yep, right. exactly. That's, that's the thing that I guess is not talked about with the cost that, that uh, when you're referring to the, the cost of the model, it's not just the training or the test runs, it's the actual research, the, the, the manpower. That yeah, to do things like reasoning right now that that exists, they're going to scale it, they're going to do a lot of research. So I think, I think the, you know, people focus on the payback question, but it's really easy to like, just be like, well, like, you know, GDP is humans and industrial capital, right? And if you can make intelligence cheap, then mm -hmm. you can grow a lot, right? Mm -hmm. That's the sort of dumb, dumb way to explain it. But that's sort of what basically the investment thesis is. Um, I think only NVIDIA is actually making tons of money and other hardware vendors. Um, the hyperscalers are all on paper making money, uh, but in reality, they're like spending a lot more on purchasing the GPUs, which you don't know if they're still going to make this much money on each GPU in two years, right? Um, you don't know if... Um, you know, all of a sudden OpenAI goes kapoof and now Microsoft has like hundreds of thousands of GPUs they were renting to OpenAI that are, that they paid for themselves with their, you know, investment in them, um, you know, that, that no longer have a customer, right? Like this is always a possibility. I don't believe that, right? Um, I think, you know, OpenAI will keep raising money. I think others will keep raising money um, because the investments, the, the, the returns from it are going to be eventually huge once we have AGI. So do you think multiple companies will get, let's assume- I don't think it's winner take all. Okay. So it's not, uh, let's not call it AGI, whatever. It's like a single day. It's it's a gradual powerful thing. AI, super powerful AI. <laughs> but it's it's a gradually increasing set of features that are useful and uh, make Rapidly of increasing set Rapid, of features. Rapidly increasing set of features. Uh, so you're saying a lot of companies will be, it just seems absurd that all of these companies are building gigantic data centers. There are companies that will benefit from AI, but not because they train the best model. Like Meta has so many avenues to benefit from AI and all of their services. People are there, people spend time on Meta's platforms and it's a way to make more money per user per hour. Yeah, it seems like Google X slash XAI slash Tesla, important to say, and then Meta will benefit not directly from the AI, like the LLMs, but from the intelligence, like the additional boost of intelligence to the products they already sell. So whether that's the recommendation system or for Elon, who's been talking about Optimus, the, the robot, potentially the intelligence of the robot. And then you have personalized robots in the home, that kind of thing. He thinks it's a 10, 10 plus trillion dollar business, which <laughs> yeah, sure. At some point, maybe I don't. Not soon, but who knows what robotics? Let's do. Are. Let's do a TAM analysis, right? Eight billion humans, and uh, <laughs> let's get eight billion robots, right? And let's let's pay them the average salary. And yeah, there we go. Ten trillion, more than ten trillion. Yeah, I mean, you know, if 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 there's robots everywhere, why does it have to be just eight 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 billion robots? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I'm be... gonna get. I'm gonna have like one robot. You're gonna have like 20. Yeah, I mean, I, I see a use case for that. So yeah, so it, I guess the benefit would be in the products they sell, which is why OpenAI is in a trickier position because they... All of the value of OpenAI right now as a brand is in ChatGPT. Yeah. And there is actually not that, for most users, there's not that much of a reason that they need OpenAI to be spending billions and billions of dollars on the next best model mm -hmm. when they could just license Llama 5 mm -hmm. and for be way cheaper. So that's kind of like... 
ChatGPT is an extremely valuable entity to them. <laughs> but like but they the, could make more money just off that than the training. chat application is clearly like does not have tons of room to continue right like the standard chat right where you're just using it for random questions and stuff right the cost continues to collapse v3 is the It'll latest go down one to ads. biggest uh but it, it's going to get supported by ads right like as, as you know llama meta already serves 405b and probably loses the money but at some point you know they're going to get uh, the models are going to get so cheap that they can just serve them for free with ad supported, right? And that's what Google is going to be able to do. And that's obviously they've got a bigger reach, right? So the, chat the, is not going to be the only use case. It's like these reasoning, code, agents, computer use, all this stuff is where OpenAI has to actually go to make money in the future. Otherwise, they're kaputs. But X, Google, and Meta have these other products. So doesn't isn't it likely that OpenAI and Anthropic disappear eventually unless they're so good at models which they are but it's such a cutting edge i mean it yes, depends so you, on you, where you think ai capabilities are going you have to keep winning yes you have to and, keep and, winning and, at this as you climb is, even if the AI capabilities are going super rapidly awesome into the direction of agi like there's still a boost for x in, in terms of data google in terms of data meta in terms of data in terms of other products and the money and the, like there's just huge but amounts the, of if money the whole idea is human data is kind of tapped out we don't care we all care about self play verifiable yeah, tasks. So you think about yeah, AWS, boxes, which is an rng like problem aws yeah. does not make a lot of money on each individual machine and the same can be said for the most powerful ai platform which is even though the calls to the api are so cheap there's still a lot of money to be made by owning that platform and there's a lot of discussions as it's the next compute layer you you, you have to believe that and and yeah there's a lot of discussions that tokens and tokenomics and LLM APIs are the next compute layer or, or the next paradigm for the economy, kind of like energy and oil was. But there's also like, you have to sort of believe that APIs and chat are not where AI is stuck, right? It is actually just tasks and agents and robotics and computer use. And those are the areas where all the value will be delivered, not API, not chat application, right? So is it possible you have, I mean, it all just becomes a commodity and you have uh the the very thin wrapper like perplexity just joking uh there are but, a lot but, of rappers making a lot of money yeah so but but do you think it's possible that people would just even forget what open ai and the tropic is and just because the there will be wrappers around the api and it just dynamically if, if model progress chooses. is not rapid yeah there, it's it's becoming a commodity right, right. deep seek v3 shows this but also the gpt3 chart earlier chart chart showed this right llama 3b is 1200x cheaper than GPT-3. Any GPT-3, like anyone whose business model is GPT-3 level capabilities is dead. Yeah. Anyone whose business model is GPT-4 level capabilities is dead. It right? is a common saying that the best businesses being made now are ones that are predicated on models getting better. Right, which would be like wrappers, thing that is riding the wave of the models. At the, the short term, the company that could make the most money is the one that figures out what advertising targeting method works for language model generations. We have the meta ads, which are hyper-targeted in mm -hmm. feed, mm -hmm. not within specific pieces of content. And we have search ads that are used by Google and Amazon has been rising a lot on search. But within a piece, with, within a return from ChatGPT, it is not clear how you get a high quality placed ad within the output. And if you can do that with model costs coming down, you can just get super high revenue. Per, like that revenue is totally untapped and it's not clear technically how it is done. Yeah, that is, I mean, the sort of the AdSense innovation that Google did. The one day you'll have in GPT output an ad, and that's going to make like billions. And it could be not. very subtle. It could be in conversation. Like we have voice mode now. It could be some way of making it so the voice introduces certain things. It's much harder to measure, and it takes imagination. But yeah, and it wouldn't be so shade. It wouldn't come off shady. So that you will receive public blowback, that kind of thing. So you have to do it loud enough to where it's clear it's an ad that the, and balance all of that. So that's the open question they're trying to solve. Anthropic and open AI, they need to. They, they might not say I don't that think they trying. care about that at all. They don't care about it right now. I think it's places I think like perplexity purely... are experimenting on I, that I, more. I, I, oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, for sure. Like perplexity, Google Meta care about this. Um, I think right. OpenAI and Anthropic are purely laser focused on AGI. Yeah, la agents and AGI. And if I build AGI, I can make tons of money, right? Or I can spend pay for everything, right? And this is this is it's just predicated like back on the like export control thing, right? If you think AGI is 
five, 10 years away or less, right? These labs think it's two, three years away. Obviously, your, 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 your actions are, you know, if you assume they're rational actors, which they are mostly, um, your, what you do in a two-year AGI versus five-year versus 10 years, very, very, very different, right? 